Hey guys, I'm Gary Carr here with another anime video. In today's video, we will be kind of ranking all the East Guy Corded shows that are kind of on the show East Guy Corded. And right now there's six. I've watched all these shows thoroughly. More, some more than other. Some being Konosuba. I've rewatched that a couple times because it's really good. But we're only be, but we will only be ranking the shows. So I don't want to use my extensive light novel reading of ReZero and Konosuba to affect this list. Although, you might think that based on where they're placed. Anyway, let's get right to it. Now, coming in in last place by a pretty large margin, I think this one is the worst by far, I'd have to say Shield Hero. Now, I was actually really excited for Shield Hero. I thought it was going to be fun, the animation looked really good, I thought the premise, while kind of bland, was interesting on how he's an outcast. So like, okay, this can work. But the show loses me when there's not a lot of tension, and I don't feel threatened by any of the villains. Some of the villains, in fact, are laughable, like mine. People talk about how they hate her so much, but what does she do? She does nothing. She's like the team rocket of the show, her and Motiasu. It's kind of aggravating. And while, yes, the animation is very, very good, that doesn't pick up, like, the lackluster characters, the storyline that's not really good. It, some of it's just chasing for a lot of it. It's not the best. Of course, there are some characters who I do enjoy, and now Boomy is, I mean, he's the best character on the show, but that's not much. And Melty, I think, um, she's really funny. Her and her mom, how they like violas, I think that's a pretty funny gag. But other than that, man, the show doesn't do much, and it's not bad, of course. It's just extremely mediocre. And I don't want this to get to season 2, bro. I want Konsuba to get their season 3 before this show gets its season 2. But, we can't stop that. Next I'd have to say Overlord. Now, this does surprise me because I did like the show a lot on my first viewing of Season 1. I thought Season 1 was pretty solid. And I thought Season 2 was really fun. I liked Season 2 a lot. However, Season 3 kind of took a dip. Season 3 was very mediocre, I'd say. Once again, none of these shows get bad at any points. But I thought Season 3 was very poor. And when combined it, I didn't like Season 1 as much. Now, I still extremely do favor season two with the lizard men in evil eye i think season two is a very good season but seasons one and three aren't the best and there's a lot wrong with this show the animation i feel out of all six shows is probably the worst now i'm not just meaning cgi but there's no really good animation bits the best one being in like episode one with mare and mare and aru is her name the two um sibling elves or whatever the dark elves that's the best animation clip with them versus a fire monster but that's it and the cgi looks horrendous okay now cgi in anime can be used good i think it's used good in prince connect free dive and that time i got reincarnated as slime i think it's used very good but here no it, it's very poor but yeah i still like overlord a lot it's way better than shield hero but it's still fifth place now coming to fourth place i'd say it's really really close to being as good as overlord or on par with it at least, and I'd say it's Yujo Senkai, or the Saga of Tiny Evil. Now, I believe this is the only show who, that I've not released a review for the season outside of Konosuba, which I have shockingly not done. <laughs> I might have to do that. But Yujo Senkai, I had a lot of fun with season one. I thought it was very fast paced, I thought the music was very good, the animation was also very fun to watch, and the movie was very enjoyable, especially that final battle with Mary Sue, which is a phenomenal joke. A, a little a little side joke in Tanya. I think it's really good. However, the story starts to falter when, outside of Tanya and the generals, there's not a lot of character. Now, maybe in the light novels they are developed more because, once again, I've only one read a light novel, but we're not trying to take that into account. We're trying to take into account only the anime. So people like Grants, uh, Visha, all these people, they're not really developed at all, but they're supposed to be part of the main cast, and it kind of annoys me because... I want more. I want more. I don't want to only experience things through Tanya's point of view, and sometimes the generals, because I want to learn all about the characters, and it's we don't. One thing about Overlord is that we do get experience a lot of character development for all these characters, and I guess that's one knock for Tanya, but it's still better than Overlord. Now third place is actually going to be really shocking, but third place is Cautious Hero, the over the overpowered but overly cautious Cautious Hero, or whatever this show is called. This show was really good. Maybe it's because I just watched it and it's still fresh in my mind, 
but I enjoyed this show very much. Now, of course, you can obviously go watch my review that I just posted like a couple days ago, but I like a lot of the show. I like the world building, I like the main cast, I like Rista, and I really like Seiya's backstory. Same with Arya. I think a lot of it's well done. And the show is very funny. And the last two episodes hit me. Hit it. They they hit me with the feels. It's very good. Now I don't think this is a show worthy of season two because I think season one was very closely knit. But I'm not gonna complain. Forget one because I loved this show. This show was very fun. Now number two is Re Zero. Re Zero is very good, man. I think it's written beautifully. Uh, I think all the characters' psychological and mental states are described so well in the show and just developed so well. Subaru is the most developed character on all these shows by far. It's phenomenal. The world building in the anime so far isn't the greatest. However, we don't get to learn enough. I, I mean, we get to meet some of the candidates for the king, but I kind of want more. But this show's phenomenal. The animation's really good. Main character's extremely well developed. It's really good, man. And the antagonists are very threatening. Unlike Shield Hero, where I'm not afraid. I'm a, I was afraid of Beltikis, bro. That's scary, man. And it's well done. Very much. And I will say, ReZero is almost as good as number one. Number one, of course, is still top tier, baby. But number one's on a different level. And number one's Konon Zuba. And I don't think y'all would be surprised if y'all seen how much I love that series. But taking out the light novels, I still think it's the best anime, man. I really, really enjoy the movie. I think the movie is very good. And while it's not a really good adaptation of the novels, I think it does really good with what it tries to do. Kind of make things more action-oriented. And the final fight with Sylvia is so beautifully animated, especially for JC staff. It's insane, man. And going to seasons one and two, those are beautifully animated with so much movement. And like, say, Cosmo's hand or Magnus' explosions, when Aqua's doing the God Blow against Hans, they're really well done. Combine that with the really good comedy and the surprisingly decent world building, going to the Crimson Demon Village, going to these noble houses, going to the Demon King's um, armies, but meeting all these different people from different walks of life, kind of like how we do in ReZero, and it, I think it's really good. I also really enjoy how the cast rolls off of one another, and it's really good. And if season three existed, bro, it would be a thousand times better than ReZero. Because volume seven is probably one of the best volumes, okay? <laughs> it's really nice. But yeah, I mean, that's my list. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I guess we'll hit Fire Force tomorrow. See ya. Uh, which is not a good show.